water to rinse the pupae out of the trays. So all you do is you take the tray, pour it to the Too thin or too thick so that they have an adequate amount of food to grow. 
So then I just kind of eyeball it. You can count to like two or like just like pour and then flip. And you can always redistribute them again when you put um, the water in. If you think one's too full or not full enough. or twice into the trays to make sure you get all the larvae that get stuck. So I pour more water into it, give it a swirl, and then pour it into one of the trays. That looks pretty good. Then you just add a liter and a half of water to all of them and then feed. When you add the water to them, I pour from a corner so that then they will swirl into a little pot of larva and that gives you a better idea of how many are in one tray. So as you can see, there's like a pretty large group at the front and then a little bit more at the back. Ideally, you have only a large group at the front, so that's a little too much, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem as long as they get enough food. Let's check to see how this one's doing. And if this one's a little light, we can put some more in with a dropper. This one looks like it's gonna be pretty good. Yeah, okay, so this is the ideal amount. There's a few scattered in the back, but a large group at the front. That's what you want to look for. So this one is pretty good. This one's okay too. This one's dispersed now, but they're okay. And then you just have to add the food. 